I'm Joanne Smith, I'm the Senior Warden at the Greenwich Peninsula Ecology Park and we do a lot of different things here. So we're very much an urban wildlife area and we're very much about people and wildlife. It's quite small but there's quite a lot packed into it. It's a wetland but we have a mosaic of different habitats. We have meadow, marsh, woodland and a lot of what we do here is education. There's a lot of people who live in cities or grow up in cities don't know so much about nature, don't really understand it. Um, a lot of people who come here are quite frightened of everything that flies around. Um, a lot of people think we have crocodiles in the lake, it's a very common one. So we do lots of different ways of educating people about wildlife and about protecting nature in towns and cities. Well, Greenwich Peninsula is quite a quirky area. Um, it would have been marshland hundreds of years ago, it was very heavily industrialised and polluted and it's had a transformation, so it's kind of had two transformations. And the latest one where it's becoming a nice place to live again, to work, as part of that the, the landscaping was really important and this ecology part was trying to put back some of that wetland that would have been lost, some of the habitat that should be here, but it's quite unique in that this ecology park is right in the middle of the housing development. You can see it being built around us. It's a lovely group of people that work here, uh, the wardens and stuff, and there's a lot of training opportunities for me, stuff that I've never been able to do before, apart from just sit in lectures and listen to someone talk about all the wonderful things they've done, now I get to do it. At the moment, we're very restricted because our gatehouse building serves as absolutely everything. It's actually the entrance to the inner park. The inner park area is the more protected area that's wardened or, um, when it's open um, and you have to go through it to get to the park. So it really restricts what we can do in there. It's really hard to fit a whole class in there and if a, a class of school children are using it you can't use the site for anything else. We currently restrict our education visits to Mondays and Tuesdays when the park's shut to the public but we'd like to have the park open more and we'd like to offer more education visits. Each year, year on year, it gets harder and harder to manage with what we've got. We recognise the need for a training space, a workshop space, a meeting space, a volunteer space as well. So this kind of building will be built on land that we aren't using at the moment. Um, it's just a, a big, large area of boardwalk that's underused.